every Thursday at 6 p.m. And as part of this amazing team, one quarter of the time, you can find me as I hope to bring you a small taste of the amazing life God has blessed me with. And the inspiration I draw from the always entertaining world of sports, and yes, it will be very entertaining tonight. And of course, country music. If during or after the show you realize that you'd like more Daniel Gruden, please email me at daniel at malcolmsegal.com. Seriously, your honest feedback and comments about the show are welcome to appreciate it, and I hope this show will gain its inspiration and content from you, the viewers and listeners. Each month I hope to cover material from the inspiration of Wilder Sparks, my of kind life and perspective, and the deep genre of country music. Today, I have the special privilege of hosting two, two guests, S.T. Ackerman, and Ellie Hadler, and, and the long-anticipated table tennis match. Thank you to our good friends at Adorama and the ODU for making this possible. Please log on to Facebook, if you are listening, at Jewish Radio World, and log on to Twitter, uh, at Nachum Siegel Net, and click uh, through to follow the links uh, to watch. So as I said, we have two guests here this evening. One is Ellie Hagler. Ellie Hagler is the assistant director of Yafa, the host of the Jewish Reaction here at the Nachum Siegel Network, and the Camp Stay Chemed 1998 Table Tennis Champion. His opponent, S.D. Ackerman, is a sixth grader. I think Ellie Hagler doesn't remember when he was in sixth grade. And the Hebrew Academy of Nassau County and a world class table tennis player. I think that the world class of table tennis recruits at Stay Chemed, if I'm not sure. Um, yes, you never know. Uh, good luck, Ellie. I've known you a long time, but my money is certainly on SD. Um, so we have a, an exciting hour for you. Uh, SD is beginning her warm up, but there certainly will be uh, a lot more book, uh, and we'll be interviewing Ellie and SD before. We'll get to country music. Uh, I heard a bold prediction that this entire match will take about 10 minutes, so I have no idea. Um, but uh, we'll see. I just wanted to go quickly through before we begin. Again, you are listening to a special edition of the Stunt Show live from the OU Arena. And uh, we have a big audience um, here. I think everyone is rooting for Ellie Hagler, but I am rooting for Esty Ackerman. And so yeah. everybody out there, go Esty. Anyway, so we have Esty Ackerman against Ellie Hagler um, in a table tennis match. So I wanted to quickly just go through for all of you out there the difference between ping pong and table tennis. Everybody, especially the amateur Ellie Hagler, has been calling this ping pong. It is not, it's actually table tennis. So. Um, since I am of the generation that knows nothing other than Google, I decided to Google the difference between table tennis and ping pong. So I got two different definitions. The first was actually from the ping pong branded, uh, branded uh, brand of product. And they say that the difference between ping pong is that ping pong is the brand and table tennis is the sport. So explanation number one. Table tennis, we're going to do this here with the OU, we're going to try to do this with some locus. The first difference between table tennis and ping pong is that ping pong is a company name, trademark, and table tennis is a game. But, if you Google a little more, you find out that the real difference um, comes down to four specific things. One is the playing surface, and type and size. Two is the equipment design, and three are how matches are played and the scoring system. Uh, I'm not going to go into the details, you should Google it yourself, but I will tell you that whether we were playing ping pong or table tennis, I would bet every single thing I own on SCF. <laughs> I know my wife was watching, I would bet our apartment on SCF. I actually want to turn around the camera for the Lomas. Can we do that? Yeah. I just want you to see the Lomas. The reason I'm so confident that I would actually bet my life on this is because Ellie Hagler, I, as Ellie said on his show, uh, the Jewish Reactor, she the court, you can't even follow the ball. Like I'm watching and she's like smiling, Ellie's going to be crying, it's going to rock. Um, so we are, yes, we are going to do amazing stuff. At least, like either getting dressed or crying in the bathroom. I'm not sure which one. Uh, or running away, uh, escaping the blizzard. And uh, so we are getting started. So I just wanted to, uh, again, uh, thank Adorama, the Orthodox Union, for making this possible. Uh, you can't see my hat right now, but I'm wearing an Adorama hat. They rock. Um, and the Orthodox Union, this is like really an awesome little arena we got here. We got fans. Is anybody, can we just get a show of hands? Is anybody cheering? For Ellie Hagler. <laughs> okay, you guys should all get your head checks. Anybody check Jerry for SD Ackerman? <laughs> you guys are all geniuses. Uh, so, uh, so uh, if, for all those, I don't know if you guys can see, you guys can see out there, SD is warming up against the brother. They do things like, oh my god! Ellie Hagler is in the house. Um, he's in the house. He's about to go for the camera. Guard your eyes, maybe. Um, <laughs> Ellie Hagler, everybody out there is happy for you. Um, so, Ellie Hagler just walked in. Again, I want to read quickly the difference between the qualifications for Ellie Hagler and SDA. 
Ellie Hadler, assistant director of Yachad, host of the Jewish Reaction Channel on Nazi Eagle Network. Let's pound all that with something from Estes bio. She's in sixth grade. Today. And Ellie Hadler won the Camp State Women's 1998 Table Tennis Championship. Esty was not born then. And she is a world class table tennis player. But Ellie Hadler, like many people who know me, know that some of us talk quickly, uh, talk too quickly. Uh, he's wearing his Team Yachad running shirt. I believe that was the same running shirt he wore when he challenged Miriam L. Wallach in the marathon, and she beat him too. And this was Ellie's, I think, like 16th marathon. But it's okay. Um, God bless Ellie for just going out and trying. So uh, we're going to get Ellie and, uh, and Esty both on the air. Um, to do some interviews. Uh, Ellie is going to warm up. We're going to bring Esty on the air now uh, while Ellie warms up. Ellie's warm up will look a lot different than Esty. By the way, uh, other differences between Ellie and Esty, I just want to, I, I think Ellie is probably six times Esty's size. The second thing is that Ellie brought a racket that he probably bought on the street outside the Orthodox Union. <laughs> <laughs> or Modell, I can't Modell, I'm, whatever. And Esty like, brought these like professional ones with spin and all this stuff. So it is now my privilege to welcome uh, S.T. Ackerman. Everyone should clap it up, S.T. Um, so I'm going to ask you a few questions. I don't want to take you away from your world because I know that you actually know how to play table tennis, so you need to warm up first. Um, it's not ping pong. By the way, Ellie, you missed the difference. The difference between ping pong and table tennis is that ping pong is the brand, table tennis is the whole thing. But I announced that I would bet my whole life savings on you against, on, on S.T. against you, even if it was ping pong. Whatever. So, um, Essie, I want to ask you a few questions. I'm going to go through a little bit of how you became nationally recognized. But first and foremost, how did you get started playing table tennis? Um, well, usually my dad and my brother always stayed in my basement. And, you know, when I was little, I always came down and wanted to play. And when I was playing, you know, I'd work up the long chair because we're actually going back and forth, you know, like human beings. And so, um, I gave it a try. And when I practiced, um, I, you know, went to try state areas for tournaments, and I got good, and now I'm going to clubs in Queens for training, and here they are today to make a national tournament. So you mentioned that when you played your brother the first time um, back in the day, you couldn't see. Do you think you could beat Ellie if you were blindfolded? Look at it. I mean, just look at it. I, okay, everybody knows what Ellie looks like. Now let's just see her competition. Okay. Uh, so, uh, do you think you could beat Ellie if you were blindfolded? Uh, I want to be honest, I do not, but maybe I think I can do the challenge. What if you played facing the wall backwards? <laughs> um, I would still bet my money on you, by the way, if you're blindfolded. Maybe, maybe. Um, so, you, so we're watching your brother, we're watching a little bit your brother warm up with uh, Ellie. Who's better than your brother? Um, I'm going to give it to my brother. He's so I noticed that Elliot Hagler is a lefty. That was probably he's supposedly going to announce some secret weapon. I assume that's it because that's a secret. Yeah. So you're used to lefties. Yeah. So Elliot actually announced this. Okay. Very excited. He's also a lefty. As do you. You are you playing ready today? Yeah. Oh, see, I mean, if I wanted to. And so, so you're going to play both. Uh, I think we're both, but I'm much, much better. I'm like, you're, you're, you're much better, right? Yeah, much better. Okay, again, I would still put all that money on you if you were playing left handed. So, uh, you gained some national recognition uh, a little while ago when you went to the U.S. National Table Tennis Championships uh, in Las Vegas. I know you covered um, the entire story with Ellie, but I just want to give, just in case people weren't listening, I want to give a little bit about the story. So, um, you went to Las Vegas, you were playing in this tournament, and what happened? So there's 60 events, and the event... Wait, 60? Yeah. Like 60? Six six and you played in all of them? No, I played in eight. You yeah, yeah. that thing. Eight maximum? Yeah. Would Ellie be qualified to play in any of them? Um, I don't know. Maybe they're okay. Continue. Uh, yeah, she could, I think. But she might not do so well, but I think hey, everybody can qualify. So the event that I developed in it, it's the under 1600. That's a lean event. So that means that... I people that all ages play. So that means I'm playing people that are like whatever age you could So I um, like like thirty five, like Ellie. Yeah. Okay. And older or younger. Older. Okay. So I advanced in my round robin group, which is like three, four players. And you know, in the round of thirty two, we saw who we were gonna play. So the match is like really for like six o'clock, but you know, it's Friday night for us. 
So we voted the foreign officials and we said, you know, like we can't, we like can't have this, I'm like, can you join me for us? So they tried to find a player that asked me to be playing and he agreed to play with us. So of course we play and I win. So it's very nice. And then like we go over and say, okay, like we're ready for our next match, because it's like two o'clock, we gotta get ready for shots. So we see that because like the next player that I like, was on like the other side of the bracket, like the player and the players didn't play that. And, and what I, round was this supposed to be in? This was supposed to be in the round of sixteen. Okay. So they said, you know, because there's eight hundred people playing in this tournament, over a hundred tables, and they can't like just focus on me. So they we, should, because you're awesome. Look at you. Thank you. So we say we're gonna default. And we default, and you know, of course, I'm upset, but really, in my real life, until I learned my religion, will always come first. And that we stayed on Las Vegas for Shabbos, for Shabbos, and it was unbelievable. The people, the shuls, and everything they did at church. So, a round of applause, everybody, for asking for really just being amazing. I want to read you um, asking one of my favorite quotes um, of all time, and I think as I get older, um, and my iPhone actually, like, you know, stays with me 24 hours a day. My one of my favorite quotes of all time was from Achad Ha'am, who said that more than the Jews have kept the Shabbos, um, the Shabbos has kept the Jews. Um, and I think it's an amazing quote, I think you really epitomize um, that. And Ellie asked you, and I want you to just repeat, Ellie was, for those of you who don't know, Ellie had her also host the Jewish Reaction, which was on right before this. He was trying to intimidate us. It didn't really work. She's like looking great. Ellie's like sweating already, walking up, whatever. Uh, so, so, so Ellie asked her. I thought the answer was so great that I want uh, just to hear the story again. He asked you why you wouldn't play on Shabbos, meaning a lot of people play ping pong, uh, table tennis, and ping pong, both sports, with potential with products made by ping pong, whatever definition, um, on Shabbos, uh, and potentially you do that in your home. I, I'm not sure. But the question is why so so why would you not play in this tournament for that Oh yeah. So for me, like technically people say that's not possible, but for me, like it's different when you're like Friday night, you hear the words where you sing videos and then like you just go down and like you hit a couple balls over it. So for me that's okay, but like for me going there in my uniform and like really like focusing like it's not like oh whatever who cares about when I lose you know it's serious for me so I feel like that was crossing over the line and Hashem would want me to do that so instead I went good and I scored it amazing okay so we are going to ask you hopefully some more questions after you beat Ellie in about It'll, it'll be in about 10 minutes because you have to warm up and it will take about 10 minutes. So, um, so we will, uh, so, so we'll speak to you again. Good luck. Um, again, I would bet my life savings on you. Literally, my life savings. Oh, Essie yeah. after you have to Essie's going to go warm up. We're going to bring Ellie Hadler um, after this point. So we're going to go warm up. We're going to bring Ellie Hadler back in. Uh, we don't even need to see what Ellie looks like. So we're going to turn back to the camera. Um, uh, while we're waiting, I just want to again thank our friends um, at and around on the Orthodox Union for making this possible. Thank you guys so much. Um, you are listening to the Stunt Show Live here on the Nazi Siegel uh, Network. I'm Daniel Gordon. Um, if you have any questions, any feedback, anything you want to say, uh, Daniel at NachumSiegel.com is the email address for it. So, uh, Ellie Hadler is literally swearing for it after warming up for two seconds. Um, and I, I want to thank Ellie again. Ellie is the, uh, I like introducing the two of them parallel. So, Ellie is the Assistant Director of Yachad. How old are you? 28. 28, and he also hosts Jewish Reaction on the Nachum Seal Network, as he's in sixth grade at Hague. Uh, Ellie won the 1998 State Chemed uh, yeah, International. Inter international. Yeah. There was somebody from Israel, presumably. There was somebody from Belgium, somebody from England, somebody from Israel. It was a real international field. I mean, it was great. Okay, so I mean, the, the rankings in that tournament were just absolutely incredible. And SD is like world famous. So, okay, so I wanted to know how you got your start playing table tennis. Well, when you play ping pong, and that's the excuse that's going to come after. I don't play table tennis, I play ping pong. Okay. Um, so if SD were to beat me at table tennis, then understand will be that I don't play that game very often. <laughs> um, so if we play ping pong, it might be a little bit of a different story, but you know, today we're going to be playing table tennis, that'll be a different story for a different time. Um, but I got my uh, start playing ping pong pretty much the same way we all did, was we had a table in our basement on Shabbos afternoon. Great. Um, and if I learned anything from your interview with your father, he was always encouraging throughout your Oh, uh, you can tell my interview with my dad. He, he thinks I'm going to win this thing. It, it, it's a no-brainer for him. Exactly. And what, if anything, do you remember about the 1998 Stechan Atonement? Um, I remember that, oh, actually, 
I remember that I actually beat uh, Rabbi Mike Gottesman, who was the Dean Emeritus of Hank, where SD is in school. Rabbi Gottesman ran in Camp Stechem International for a number of years, and I beat him uh, in that tournament. Um, but it was okay, so Rabbi Gottesman and I did Dafyomi together over that same summer. So that was awesome. it, was, it was all good. So do you think the fact that you did Dafyomi during that tournament will help you during this tournament? Uh, no doubt. I mean, doing Dafyomi you know, teaches you to work both your body and your mind. Great. So, um, so, so, today, so just before we go on, I've got to give a shout out to my nieces who are, who are watching, to so Rivka, Rivka and Leora. I hope you're not embarrassed. Hi, Rivka and Leora. I'm with Camarillo. This is your uncle Ellie about to get embarrassed. Uh, make sure you're recording this. Um, so Ellie, why did you decide to play Esty? Uh, well, it really came down to um, I, I opened up my mouth a little wider than I should have. Um, I was speaking That's to Miriam. I think everyone knows how you had that. Never happened before. I was speaking uh, to Miriam Wallach, and she was telling me about the story of Esty Ackerman um, and how she was playing at a tournament in Las Vegas. I had to, you know, chose not to play because of Travis. And I said to myself, I was like, you know, she's 11 years old. How good can she really be? Like, for an 11-year-old, she'd probably be great. But, like, I was thinking, like, the ping-pong paddle itself is probably bigger than she is, um, which is not really far from the case. She's 11 years old. But uh, she, she handles it pretty well. Uh, those of you who are watching right now, you can see that she's practicing uh, with her brother in her corporate-sponsored attire. Who's your corporate sponsor? Uh, Team Yachad. Awesome. Okay, so I... I, I, we are going to get the festivity start. We're going to start with some national anthems. We'll start with national anthem. I think I believe we'll have it live, son, or it's going to be taped. Yes. Live. 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 Oh. Rabbi Paul Glasser, I believe. Is that correct? Cantor. 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 Paul Glasser is going to lead us in the anthems. But before that, I just wanted to give a full disclaimer. Um, I spoke uh, to some of the people at the Orthodox Union before. We made sure that there will be no blackouts um, when SC is down by like a thousand or at the Super Bowl. But I did hear that Ellie has a deep connection with God, and he asked that the blizzard start ASAP. I've got a direct line. I put in a call. <laughs> yeah. God, I know that this blizzard was supposed to come in two days, but can you please move it up? Is that what happened? I tried, but we'll see what happens. Um, great. So we are going to uh, now have the national anthem. Um, so maybe you should do player okay, so we you know what, let's do let's let's do the national anthem first because there's some listeners that are gonna do a nice player introduction. Um, again, very even competition, you'll know from there. Exactly the LA Hagler 28. 28? Great. Awesome. Okay, so uh, we ask everybody in the room especially uh, to please rise upon we are going to have um Hazan, Kanto Paul Glass or lead us in the anthems. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming. Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous night or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets went the bombs bursting that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled Nefesh 
to have a coach. Yes. After each game, the coach can speak to him. I don't think many things will happen. Yes, coaching. Oh, Esti, sorry. Um, and and uh, so I want to make a quick introduction. Okay. I want to make Esti. Esti, do you want to coach Ellie? I want to keep it. You left the office. Oh, okay. We're going to coach him. Okay, so Akiva's going to coach Ellie. Okay, so coach Ellie. Well, thank you, Akiva. Again, maybe if you play for him, he would actually stand a chance. So I want to, before we begin, just thank Adam Ramble and the Orthodox Union again. And uh, the round of applause for everybody as possible. And now for the official player introductions. So we will start. Coming in, wearing orange and blue, Team Yachad Kiro. Team Yachad Two on his tippy toes, 28 years old, and the assistant director of Yaha, the host of the Jewish Reaction here on the Nahum Single Network, and Champ Speed Clemens, 1998 Cable Better Champion, Ellie Hart. All the way from West Hempstead. She is probably about. How tall are you? 47. Okay. <laughs> Seven. She's 11 years old no, and a sixth grader at the Hebrew Academy of Nassau County and a world class table tennis player and a Shabbos observer. And, and, and the if you are just listening, as always, we, won't, we actually invite you to one second now. We're not ready for the, to begin. Stop. No, not yet. Practice. I just want to tell everybody you guys want to warm up a little bit together. Is that, is that okay, Esty? Is that in the rules? Okay, they're going to warm up together. Warm up, she's taking it easy. I just want to invite anybody who's listening to log on to Facebook at Jewish Radio World or on Twitter at Nachum Siegel Net and follow both all of the live commentary here, but also to find out how you can watch this because our good friends at Edward made it possible to watch. So, um, since the worlds are actually painful to watch because Ellie is just hitting it off the table, um, I actually want to invite uh, the match to begin. Uh, how do we begin the match? Do you like flip a coin? Who, who serves first? Uh, here. Uh, Essie's going to do something fancy with the ball to find out who goes first. <laughs> Which hand? Liar. <laughs> okay, so Essie so Esti will serve first. The way it's going to work. Because this is table tennis. We're going to play the best of three out of five. Games to 11. Win by two? Yeah, two serves each. Two serves, two serves, and two serves, and two serves. One, and then two, 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 or two, two, the whole No, it's, I serve twice, and less than two. Two, the whole way. Okay. And okay. Awesome. So, we're going to make this as quick as possible. I'm going to try to do my best yeah. to keep this yeah. in place. Ellie will make it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Ellie will make this as quick as possible. Don't worry, that's right. So, uh, without further ado. Practice? We're, we're good. No, we're good. This is, this is a good game of the video. Um, 
So there you go. So MC, take it away. So MC is going to serve first. Uh, she holds her one of the very interesting ways. And we hit the ball into the net. And we're going to throw it into the net. We're going to throw it into the net. And we have a key actor there. Thank you guys for the ticket. We're going to keep talking. We have a key actor uh, here with us. Who is going to do some prank object. Because he knows the first thing about table tennis. So, as you hit it, and you hit it, and I'm going to get into the net. What would you say to Eric if he could hear it right now? Which he can. What would you say to him? The fact that he's hitting into the net twice. What does that tell you? Uh, that he's got to watch for underspin. Underspin. And Eric has to, did that pick out your eyes? For those of you who listen to the video, as you just smacked the ball, and he ducked out the middle. Uh, but he looks really tough in his, uh, in his uniform. Uh, and as you have got a clean record, as predicted, my Ellie's father, Richie Hagler, Ellie has still not a uh, skill. We have that trash talking from the sunrise, but they're hitting it, and they're sticking up there, and they're not continuing. So, Akiva, what would you say? What do you think? What, what do you think is going on here with Ellie? That's close. That was, <laughs> <laughs> Ellie thinks he deserves a point for being close. Point nothing else. The shots that Estes and the shots that Ellie is hitting into the net is because of Estes' under what does that mean? For those of us who don't know, I'm sorry, my backspin. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> a backspin which control, uh, which is sort of a which is a very like tough spin to return. So, a, so she's using a tough spin against the guy who just looks dead. She's yeah. the and then the shots that he said he got, I was uh, coaching between the games. Keep going. Five hundred. Five hundred points are out there. That's predicted by Ellie's father, Richie, before the game. Um, so, so if you could give a specific amount of experience playing against, um, I think that was another one that Ellie couldn't even catch up to. Now what you're saying is, is your sister's biggest strength or take a second. Because it's nothing, six nothing. Six nothing. Your biggest strength is pounding the ball hard at your opponent. Yeah, okay. Does that happen too often when you guys play the basement? Oh, uh, yeah, but it's easy to return. But it's easy to return. Do you know how to return? Yeah! 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 You have all the word in line. Because you only have your Austin score. DanielAustinTeeble.com. Um, so that is now six one. Uh, so, so you also play, is that correct? Yeah. Great, and uh, yeah. do you, are you also nationally recognized? Yes. Great, uh, and are you, it's like under 1600, which one are you? I will, I will just think that there's anybody under 18 Jewish in the entire world. Yeah, you're the best, you got a point. Uh, you are number one. No, number one Jewish junior in the continent. Jewish junior on the continent. I heard that non, you know, everybody. Non Jewish junior in my age group, that's probably like top 10. And your ninth grade is the day was when I'm starting. Yes. Four, okay. Four, 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 four. A former if you didn't know, Ellie's father, like, uh, one of the ones. No? And, uh, and, wow. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. actually, because I actually think that although his father predicted this, this would happen, and you guys are trying to say, I was ready to come to the Marshall School of Tennis School Academy and brought you, because that's what I did. So, if Ellie's father picks up, you can always get the score is now. 7-1. 7 SD. 9-1. Okay, I think we can say it. It's 9-1. Mr. Ackman is keeping score. And who told us coach? Are you asking coach? No, the coach is coming. The coach is coming. Are you coaching over this match? They're at the coaches' council. So she's winning this coach list. And every game is with 30 players. And who's at the coaches' council? Okay. 9-1 Nancy. Keep saying it. It's going to be somewhere. Don't worry about it. That's what you think. 9-1. Ellie's waiting to win out his secret weapon because he said he is a lefty. And then he's going to go to Nancy. He's actually a lefty. So what's your brother? So, okay. So that's 10 more per game. Fantasy. Let's see, the spin, is that under spin? Oh, no, 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 no. So now, that decides it's an over spin. I believe now we're going to play one, two, three, one, two, three, three, four, 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 Come, come to me now, I want to go inside the huddle. We're going to go inside the huddle. The things they do on, on ESPN. <laughs> so here we go. Inside the huddle. There's only half there. What, what are we going to say? No, no, you can just talk. We can all hear. He's the other. The truth is, you got to you gotta start playing to, to uh, you got to start playing to uh, up to your up to your level. You're playing down to your level. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll tell you more. And, and, and could you tell me in words how to do that underspin thing? Uh, if she gives you underspin when she balls going like that, you have to just put that back in like you always do. So like you're doing the back. Yeah, you slice it back. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, okay. okay. So, so, so you still have games to come back. Uh, all right. And, and, and remember, if you're going to turn it, the top spin, the only way to return it is just to touch it. Because if you top spin, it's going to... 
It's gonna just gonna go. That's out. Okay, okay, Ellie. Let's go. Let's go. This is a very special. Let me show this up to the microphone. What are we doing? This is like the match of the April doesn't get called. Um, it is one nothing. SD Ackerman, the 11 year old Phenom. She is killing Ellie Hyder, the 28 year old. Guy with a good now left in the middle of it. So, he's going to point, and other than that, it's one nothing in games. So, here we go. Here comes Hyder straight at going first. As he tries. Ellie, that one is clear. It clears. You got power. You get points in Shibarian for that. Yeah, we say one nothing on SC this game. Here comes Ellie at two nothing. Ellie, get, Ellie, I think you need to get a little. You just turned for a marathon. I think you can get a little more body into <laughs> Right? Can you get? Come on, everybody, let's get let's get a slow clap for Ellie. 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 Let's get
Yeah. She just better with her hands in the end. Okay, so that's how they pick uh, uh, Ryan Sardi Chase. That's how they chose to serve first. Ellie, I believe, served second. He started the second game. Didn't matter. He lost both. So, 2 nothing. Uh, SC again. Please, if you have any questions, comments, feedback, Daniel at NaphilSegal.com. I think this is going to be over very soon, so if you're not watching, you want to see this. Here comes SC. Back to Ellie. SC. Ellie, put up a good fight. Oh. Ellie, it's a very close. touch. Wow. Close. I think the table's longer on this side. <laughs> okay. So, when you put it on the other side, you switch. Uh, uh, yeah, where's the table when we were looking? Again, we are listening to a very special dish in the structure here at Rock Up Signal Network. SC Ackerman is. I wouldn't even call it beef. What would you call this? It's two nothing. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> two nothing in the game and two nothing in like the sets. Is that what they're called? Yeah. Two nothing in the set and, and, and two nothing in the game. Two nothing in the game and two nothing in the game. Yes. Right. Okay. And what would you? How would you define somebody who's losing this? This is a really tough beating. As he tried, if, if, if you're not watching, as he tried to smack the ball on his face, which has happened, which has happened a million times, right? So she's trying to do the last thing in the So yeah, it's, it's underspin yeah, over spin. He had triple underspin it and whatever. And actually scored a point, so now it's the right. Kiddish, the shot is in the middle of the Wow, that was it. That's what you get for, you know, scoring a point. <laughs> she's going to score six in the middle um, So the score is now. 3 to 1, and again, it is 2 nothing. SC Ackerman and James. She is going to go, oh, 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 off the OU projector. That's in it for the OU team, so that's good for you. Um, but, uh, so, uh, again, we want to uh, thank everybody at the OU at Alabama for making this possible. Specifically, I want to thank uh, Hasha Zan, Kanto Paul Brasser, uh, Senior Director of the OU, for really uh, putting me in and making sure this is possible. Um, I am happy for uh, being such a good sport. Um, I hope you learned something from this experience. If nothing more, then he should stick to ping pong and not uh, table tennis. Um, so, we are going to, let's see, uh, SC again, the Warriors. And as uh, usual, as I use it, I think it's usual. Is that because it's usual for you, or that's what I use it? That's what I use it. Yeah, and that's how usual points are going to be. Oh, are you being it? What, what's happening on the points? Um, and so, I also want to think. Uh, Marco Paul of the Office uh, of the Old Moon Department of Communication. The guys today are loving the ping pong table in a big way. We need to call the emergency ping pong for the children. People! So that's why. That's another point for having it. Notice, by the way, SC is so used to playing, to playing table tennis and beating people that, like, when she scores, it's like nothing. Ellie's like, did you see that? Make sure you got that one on record. Uh, so, so, again, we have two many games. Uh, 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 that's five two other points. Six. Six two points. So, so your father, Ellie, oh, oh, do you have anything you want me to relate to your father who said you wouldn't score a point? I got six. That's six times as many as anybody else here. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Richie Hagler. Um, I think for ready, Ellie scores six points. As his brother gets to stay in the Is that correct? Uh, you can fill through the email we had answer at daniel.com. Again, if you, anybody out there has any questions or comments for Ellie or Essie or for anything having to do with this amazing thing that we're putting on here, known as the match of the ages, not really like the match of the so I want to get a little bit straight, but you have a great, yeah, this is a great question. Ellie and I have been playing for a long time. The chance of that, and Ellie, this is a great question. Do you think you're going to do that? And then you're going to do that. And then you're going to do that. And I didn't really agree with that, but Ellie, they're chanting, Ellie, you're going to do that. Again, thank you. I'm going to give you $6 today to come and pay for him. So anybody who knows me, get $6 from Ellie for coming and cheering for him. Again, Daniel, I'm not going to see you.com. Thank you for joining us. Thank you everybody for everything that you've done. Thank you for everybody for everything that you've done. Thank you for everything that you've done. Thank you for everything that you've done. Thank you for everything that you Thank you, everybody, for being such good sports. Um, so, I actually just got a, uh, an email. Thank you. You guys will get your prize. Everybody emails me. I'll send you a prize from my office at Yeshiva University. Uh, but that's not for now. I know we're watching a complete <laughs> Wow. Essie, is he in your head? Did he get in your head? Yeah. He's in your head. She's just going to move to make a feel of You have great videos. That's great education going to him. So, uh, Ellie, wow, that was a spin serve. Ellie. Trying to take your attention. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We take the time now. We have time now. Are you ready to ask? Each player is on one time now. Yeah. 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 And there's a one time now. So everyone's going to take a time now. We are doing a scoring now. Ten out of five. Oh, so we're going to play a game. I believe.
so a lot of get when, when, when they come up, we want to do more of those classic slow chains, like when they look at the slow chains. Uh, but but at least you have more to present than the average points. Yeah. Five minutes, points is cool. Five and two games. <laughs> and two games. And two games. And two games. And two games. Let's take 29 points in a row. Let's take the match. <laughs> one, nine <laughs> points in a row. I will say if you can get 2.9 points in a row. Black out. Black out. Everyone in the chair, now you've got a blizzard. Black out. Ellie told God that he would last like 30 minutes. It's going to hold six. So, so the blizzard's coming soon, Ellie. Um, again, you're listening to. Oh! Uh, is that black? Yeah. And it's going to take months to get the lights. Months to get the lights. Can we put a blindfold on SD? No, no, no. So, 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 for those of you who didn't tune in before the game, I actually said I put all my money down on SD blindfold because she told me that when she was going up and playing, I, I would play it because the game would be over very soon. Yeah. Like, at one more point. So, just one second. And, and she couldn't see because she, so, she was so short and she was hitting the ball or whatever. And then, so, so I would play on her blindfold because she actually used to play um, without it. So for the last point, uh, let's get a little strong clap for Ellie. Maybe we'll put on the point. If not, it was also a time to get during the Hurricane Sandy blackout. Um, it, it was dark in our basement, but we still played with glow in the dark balls. Yay! Yeah. That's how Ellie usually plays. So if we played, if we played with glow in the dark balls here, that's what Ellie would say the chance. Um, so here we go. It's match point. Let's see, Ali Hagler. Ali Hagler has ice in his veins. He does not feel the pressure until she's Can we have one ace, Esty? One ace. Right by him. Let's see. She holds the racket. It's so interesting how she holds the racket. Ali, that was a nice one. Spin. There comes Esty again. Spin. Ali. Esty. Ali. Esty. Oh! Ice in the veins. She's got 10 7. Ten, Ellie? Well, she's just playing Yeah, she's just playing dice. No, Ellie. <laughs> Ellie's asking us to put up. Ellie, what you don't know is that they have to do chasen hours and Hank. <laughs> and the more that she does it, the more that's it. Ellie. <laughs> so here she go. Again, match point for SD. She's up two games to nothing and ten to seven. <laughs> I want to get the schedule. I would like to grab the SD. I want to uh, go around the clock to Ellie. And I want to see myself. I can't get a little bit of the character. No, 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 no. None of us have the guts to do what you did. So uh, thank you very much, Ellie. Thank you for adding around the world. I see you all around to the start show here on the Malcolm Seagull Network. Um, so I just want you to know that a message from Richie Hagler. Ellie, we are so proud of you. That's what parents are for. So, to present, we have a couple pictures and to present, as the Ackerman, with the first ever Orthodox Union Battle for the Ages trophy, Mr. Schroeder Schwartz, she's on his left for the Orthodox Union. I want to get this on camera. I want this on camera for perpetuity. Again, the score, the score was. Three nothing. The score is you know, yeah, the crew just get the, the photographers and three nothing. Again, it was three nothing. Uh, again, that's three zero. Three zero. And we score I think accumulated eleven points. So that's great. So now for the trophy presentation. Here is Mr. Shelton Short. I really enjoyed watching the game, even though I was in harm's way. Uh, almost got hit about four times. Um, wish you the best of luck here and uh, congratulations. The original trophy uh, reads S.D. Ackerman, the Kavot Shabbat, with admiration of the Orthodox Union, February 7th, 2013. And they even, the Orthodox Union bought that trophy, is that correct? So the Orthodox Union bought that trophy and put a plaque that S.D. was in with before that. <laughs> There's a value one for Ellie that you know you can buy online. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, I want to Ellie and Esty both back in quickly. We can get just a little post game interview. Um, again, if you missed it, uh, this is the archive. Show me the archives. I want to congratulate um, Esty. And, um, and uh, we have a whole cast of characters from the Malcolm Seagull Network. I mean, of course, and foremost, um, I want to, I should have done this earlier, I want to welcome my two bosses at the Nassim Seagull Network, that is Nassim Seagull himself, who is in the house. None of this would be possible without the creature at the Queen of Nassim Seagull, and the um, crazy dedication of Miriam L. Wallach. Um, you know that, you know, she's amazing. I also want to give a special shout out to Mayor Freddy, Charlie Rowland, 
Ellie Heisler, who hosted his show before, uh, Mark Zonic, and Naomi Nachman, who are all here in the house to show their support for the network and for everything. Um, so, Ellie. That was, that was beautiful. So, uh, Essie Stallings came over. I actually, let me, I, I want to hear that, actually, before we go to Essie. So, I want to, Essie Stallings, really, I also want to give a plug. Um, Essie's father, uh, Mr. Glenn Ackerman, runs uh, a Jewish table tennis uh, ping pong tournament. It is on Sunday, February 17, 2013. For questions, please email him at Glenn Ackerman, that's G L E N N A C K E R N A N. 613 at yahoo.com. And I, and I just want Ellie, you are even though it's for people under the age of 12, you are still going to play. You may stand a chance. Um, no, but I just want to, uh, Mr. Ackman came over and said actually what I thought was beautiful along the lines of what I had on. I just wanted to thank everyone for putting this together. This is lovely. Hey, you know, my Ellie was very nice to, uh, to go through with this. So so supported. <laughs> I just want to say that the trophy SD did not win in Las Vegas. She won here at Lower Manhattan. <laughs> And that was all crazy. And everyone will be more crazy. So I want to just do a quick post game interview, then we're going to wrap it up a little bit. Uh, so, so, Ellie, was that as hard as you thought it was going to be? It was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. What you're playing the team is really some of the balls have a tremendous amount of spin. And it got to a point where I was just hoping to make contact with the battle and just hoping that there was enough spin on the ball to carry it back over the net. But I, I, I am proud of you, Team Bell. I'm proud of you, Richie Hagler. I'm proud of you. I'm sure Thanks, Dan. I appreciate that. Thank you. Fun. And Esty, did you think Ellie was Ellie as bad as we scored a 30? Uh, I'm going to be honest. I did not think she was really good. Good. Wow. That is one of your favorites. Hey, you're going to score. What do you think? If you could have one piece of constructive grace in your garbage game, what would it be? Besides everything. Um, I would be told that it's Florida and I would top her. Yeah. Yeah. Back in and try to open up and not play so much time. But if I'm, if I'm trying to return your spins, can I spin it back or I need to chop it down? Well, I mean, you could out. cut down, like, unless like, you're a pretty good chopper, but, like, if you're like. You're good at chopping on Chinese food, Ellie. Okay, thanks. You're pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but, like, if I see colors and you're not, like, out of that high level, yeah, 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 okay. But you can have potential. You can get there. Yeah, if you wait that day. So, for the is your coach here? Maybe we can talk a little bit. Yeah. Um, my coach in that here, I heard the crew was in, um, traffic. Uh, -huh. it's okay. Listen, Ellie, we're going to do everything we can. Esty, I just want to say thank you again uh, for coming on the show. Uh, it was really amazing. <laughs> Ellie, for being a good one, and, and most importantly, I want to thank you for being a tremendous kid at um, and really a, uh, a role model of inspiration for us all. And I just want to point out that my sponsorship kills me, which is an unbelievable sponsorship. They provide me the best clothing ever, and all my tournaments that I go to, they're always there to cheer me out with the best support ever, and I really want to give them a big thank you. Yeah, thank you for the I mean, they didn't come to me, they knew it would be quick. Like, they could well, the they are, which I stay there. And they thought, they, would, they, they thought this would last long. Okay, yeah. just checking. Um, so, thank you, Nancy. Thank you, Ellie. Again, if you have any feedback or comments, please. You know me at daniel.com.com. We get SD Ackerman obliterated. And we have a three nothing. I think he scored 11 kilometer points by getting these two tries. So it is now part, it is now time for my favorite part of my stunt show experience. And that is um, our country music segment. To keep with the tradition and to put life and this whole experience into perspective, this one's country song is Skin by Rascal Flats. If you can, stop what you're doing and pause for four minutes and 21 seconds to take it all in. As always, I will react afterwards.
some of us can do that. My grandmother Debbie's name for two hours on that. I'm doing that. Because anything can do to teach us. It is to make a difference, take advantage of every day, and that life is all about perspective. This may be the best of a photo, which is two weeks away. Step up to the front, make a different talk, and feel mortified. Be an Esther. And in today's celebration of Curry, no matter how much slips we are, no matter how you to have, you must still keep your perspective. And we must have and we must have the and we must have the and we must have the We don't just worry about it. The more than any of this rascal class money reminds me that we need to care for each other and the small act of kindness to go along. And let the problem be as well, to be caring about others and really can make a difference and change someone's world. And when we do things, it really impacts the other person, but it also changes us. When I was in high school, I had the amazing opportunity to be able to shave my head in support of a friend with cancer. Fortunately, he survived. And yes, he felt better about not doing his, about not going through his experience alone, but it also changed each one of our lives to participate. So the question of cancer awareness one for the other guy first wish I've done right here. I hope we can all internalize these messages. So okay. you have been listening to a very special edition of this dump show on an awesome summer that I am going to record it and as always, thank you for making us a part of your evening, week, and month. Coming up next is the Thursday night extravaganza with Austin Siegel, followed by all of tonight's program live from the Old Clock Studio here at Lower Manhattan. Join Austin Paul Rooney from 6 to 9 a.m. as we host Jamie the AM live here on AustinSiegel.com and at 91.1. Make sure you tune in as he is joined by Malcolm Holmline for his weekly update, where we need to discuss President Obama's upcoming visit to Israel. Don't miss Saturday Night Seagull, hosted by our Grumpy Pickle Street, live here at Stream, as well as at MalcolmSeagull.com this Saturday night at 10 p.m. This show will be broadcast Sunday morning, live here on the Malcolm Seagull Network here at MalcolmSeagull.com. Tune in next week at this time for our next edition of Steps to Record, Jordan B. Griffin. And if you do it next month, we'll pay for all the tech batteries and smoke carbon dioxide detectors. Remember to tune to me on the Star Trek for the show tonight at 6 p.m. Thanks once again to all the great friends and sponsors at Adorama and the Orthodox Union. We're giving all of this content. Thank you guys so much. Thank you to Esther Ackerman, who is aspiring to be the first Orthodox Church Olympian and certainly an inspiration to us all. And to Andy Hadler for making this evening possible, specifically. SD for being early and early for doing such a great sport. In case you forgot, tonight's time for someone was skinned by Rascal Flats. Once again, I welcome your honest feedback and comments at DanielMalcolmSeagle.com. I hope you have gained something from this hour, and I hope this show will gain inspiration and content from you, the listeners. I was really appropriate that during this, Cancer World Stunt Show, or Cancer World Stunt Show, show with me, Daniel Bloom, but I came with my favorite quote from the late great Jimmy Dalvada, founder of the Jimmy Hughes Foundation for Cancer Research. There are three things that we should do every day. Number one is laugh, number two is think, and number three is, is have your emotions moved to tears. So be happy with your joy. We think about it. If you laugh, if you think, if you cry, it's a full room. It's a heck of a day. We do that seven days a week, you're going to have something special. That's how I try to live my life, and I hope this hour has been as special and amazing for you as it's been for me. Stay tuned for the day of the night extravaganza of the Pop and Zero Live from the World Cup Studio on the way in Lower Manhattan. Usually on the way inside. See you next month. Goodbye.